So welcome to chapter 8 of the iOS development for Absolute Beginners book and this video we're going to take a look at some of the samples in chapter 8. We're going to start by taking a look at the date picker example. So a date picker example is something you can use as its name suggests for picking dates and for picking times and dates. So we'll create a simple test application for one here. It's going to be a single view application. I'm going to call it date picker test leaving organization and company identifier as they are, um, but just make sure that class prefix is always empty and the device is set to iPhone. When you click Next, I'm just going to put it on the desktop and make sure that I'm not using a Git repository by unchecking that box. So now I have my application and I can start editing the main.storyboard. So to do this, I want to add a date picker. Here it is. I just type date in the search box and I get a date picker and I can drag it and I can drop it into place using the guides something like so. And then I just want to add a label and this label is something I'm going to use just to render the output of the date picker and I'll just make it the full width with the margins, something like this. So next I want to set up an outlet for this label so that I can write to it. I want to set up an outlet for the UI date picker so that I can access it and I can read from it. And I'm also going to set up an action for the date picker itself whenever I change stuff on it. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to open the assistant make sure the assistant is set to view controller.h and now on my UI date picker I'm going to control drag I'm going to insert an outlet I'm going to call that outlet um, date picker and then I'm going to insert an action and the actions on value change I'm going to call that date picked and then for my label itself, it's kind of hidden here, but it's still there. I can control drag that and I'm going to create a property, an outlet for that, that I'm calling label output. OK, so now I have my two outlets and my action. I'm going to go to my view controller.m and start coding. So what happens when I pick a date, I'm going to want to read the date from the date picker. So you can see I call my date picker, just date picker as such, and this returns something in the format of nsdate. An nsdate is an object that contains date and time information. I'm going to call that chosen date. And that's just the date chooser on my, yeah, my date picker dot date. You can see that returns an nsdate. So the nsdate object now contains the date and time information from the picker. And, but I want to be able to render that out. And there's so many ways that you can render a date and time, right? You could be a, you know, it could be just a date. It could be the time. It could be Sunday, July 14th. It could be 10th, 7, 93. There's so many different formats. So dates are very complex. So there's something called an NS date formatter that allows me to say how I want my date to appear. So I'm going to create a new NS date formatter called date format. And I start by allocating and initializing an NS date formatter for that. So now I'm going to say, okay, my date formatter that I call date format, I can give it a style. And I use, do that with the set date style message. Now that style, there's lots of different styles. So I'm going to just start typing these. You can see there's NS date formatter, no style, medium, long style, full style, etc., etc. Experiment with it to find the ones that will suit you. I'm just going to pick full style right now so you'll see what an NS date full style looks like in a moment oops I forgot to allocate my NS date formatter it should be alloc in it like that which is why I had the error now I have a warning on chosen date because I haven't used it yet that's about to change because I'll set LBL output dot text equals now my date format is a formatter and I can use that format to create a string from a date and of course, my date is chosen date. So I can use the date formatter to convert the chosen date into a string based on the formatter full style. So let me save this out and run it, and we'll see what it looks like. And here we are, so we can see that it's set to be today 3.18 p.m. or I can just change the date to other things. And as I spin this around, once it stops spinning and the value changes, you see this update. So it could be Tuesday, November 12th at 1.18 p.m. But of course, because my I use the full style on the date, there's no time information in that one. So the time information is being ignored. Only the date information is being used. 
so we can customize the spinner um, to provide different things maybe only provide the date maybe only provide the time and then we also have to customize the output to render what it is that um, we want to see from what the user has chosen so let's take a, a look at a couple of other options for things that we could have done so if we go back to the mains up storyboard and we look at the UI date picker I'm going to close the assistant and take a look at the attributes inspector you'll see that my UI date pickers mode was date and time which is why we saw both the date and the time I could have said just date and run it and now we just see the date so we have the month day and year and when I drop on something, June 17th, 2030 happens to be a Monday. Even though I didn't pick Monday here, again, it was the formatter style that I used said, I want to render a date in day, month, day of month, comma, year date. And it ends up giving it to me in that way. So when I when you create the date format or the different formats that you can use there, we'll give them to you. Actually, let's take a quick look at an example of that. So if I go back to my view controller dot M, we'll see that I was using NS date formatter full style. If I, for example, had said NS date formatter long style, we'll see what that looks like. If I change it, now we just have September 8th. We don't have the day anymore. So full style had the day, long style is just like this. And you can experiment with the formatters to, to find the date style that suits you if you're going to convert it to a string. How about time? Uh, earlier we had date and time and then we change it just to date. So let's take a look at what happens if I set my mode now to just time and rerun my app. I'll save and it'll compile. I rerun it and now my picker is just going to be a time. But look what happens as I move this and it changes I'm still getting October 8th, 2013 on here, or whatever the current date is. Because I haven't changed the date, the date object from the picker is being stored within my date chosen object, and then the formatter is still saying, give me a, a long date. So I really need to change this to say, give me a time instead of a date. So how would I do that? Well, it's all in the formatter. So if you saw here, my date format was set to, I set the date style to it. Um, I haven't set a time style, um, so I don't want to see the date, so I should set the date style to be something that doesn't show me the date. And thankfully, there's something called NS date formatter, no style, that says I'm not interested in seeing the date. And if I go back to date format, I can set the time style as well as the date style. So I can set my time style to be something like NS date formatter long style. So I said, I don't want any style on my date and I want a long style on my time. And so now if I assign that to my string, use that formatter to format the string and I change my time, I'm going to get it as 1.22 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because I'm in Pacific Time right now. So it's picking that from my locale. So that's just a few little examples of how the date picker works. As you can see, it's very straightforward, very, very simple but also very, very powerful, the kind of things that you can do with it. And it's really fun to play with on a real device when you spin it with your finger because it has the kinetics and all that. Um, but as you saw, very easy for you to program against and I hope you enjoyed.